Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to walk through really kind of hacking what is the Voomly sales page right here. And what we found interesting, and somebody was asking a question in one of the groups, is that as you have your plan levels right here, as you change them, then suddenly this other box appears on the page. And luckily I had this example available so that I could go through and basically really reverse engineer exactly what they did and set it up because there are oh, you know, there, there are dozens of different places where you have to set things in order to get this done. But once you get it done, it is actually really quite cool the way this thing works. So here, like I said, this is Russell's version of it. And with them, everything down here at the bottom is going to tally up to zero because they have everything set to a 30-day free trial. Now, in my version of it, I basically copied exactly what they had, including all the text, so I could just make sure I was building it out properly but on the paid or on the on the whatever this was here the light level it's free so it's showing a zero down here and then on the basic level it is nine dollars per month we got nine dollars you get up to plus you got nineteen dollars per month as you see right here or you have an annual plan of a hundred and ninety dollars and again it reflects it down there also, what is reflected right here, that information is also down here at the bottom. And then I also see we got, it says Voomly, and then plus in uh, parentheses there. It must be picking up the plus from the plan level and the Voomly from the actual name of the product that we're going to set up. And so now we got basic and now we got light. So all the information we're going to set into ClickFunnels and then it's all going to flow through into here. And what I want to do is walk you through and show you exactly where each one of these items shows up once you build the form. So the very first thing here is the name. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an asterisk next to that name and then I'm going to update the product because where this is going to show up is going to show up as the very top item right here and we'll see then the asterisk should come in right next to it. Sometimes it takes a little bit, a few seconds for it to save. So let's just do this and there we got our asterisk right there. So that is uh, the name of the product. So all I did is I came into all products, went to the top right corner, said create a product and I ended up here. Uh, this description right here, as far as I know, it does not show up anywhere. And of course the image shows up right next to the product right there. Um, <clears throat> you can do, do stuff over here with online store and customer center, but that's not for today. Neither are tags. Next thing you do is you come down here to the pricing. And again, with the ones that Russell put in here, everything had a 30 day free trial. So it said right up here at the top, it said like, I think it says something like free for 30 days and then, you know, $9 per month, free for 30 days and then $190 a year, you know, whatever the pricing was. But again, let's just take a look at the ones I have set up. So again here, this one here is um, free free for the entire time. And it says Voomly Light Free. So if we go over here to this one, we can come up here Light. So we got Voomly Light Free. So all I did is I copied just that information right there. And I came over and I made myself, I added a price here. I had to click add a price. And before you can add a price, most of the time you have to come up and click on update the product so you could, because you've already saved something. So we got this here. And then all I did here at this point here is I put in $0 for this one, pasted in the Voomly Light free. So let me just put an asterisk in front of that right there. And then you got to set up some sort of a time period. So again, it's totally free. So in this case here, I just said every month charge them nothing. Product I put down here does not have a trial. Uh, again, it's totally free, wouldn't need a trial. I think it will normally click this to visible, but I've seen some errors in here that won't let you save it if they are visible. So just click them all off and then we will save this. That visibility has to do whether or not I think you can see it on the customer center page and possibly in some other places. And then um, we got the second one here. Actually, let's go down to the third one. We got Voomly 
plus down here. So if we come to the third one, we have Voomly plus, and we have two variations on it. And you're going to see here the text right in here is identical to the text at the top of the page. So this right here, that text is the same as this text right there. And then, of course, we have two variations on this. As I click on it, it changes the text out up here as well. So I just copied both of those out and I came in and then here is the monthly version right there. I pasted it in, charged that every month. And then we had the annual version right here, pasted that in and charged that every year. And so again, let's just put some asterisks in front of this here so we can see where are the ones that we just talked about. So come on, let's open that up. I'll put another asterisk right there and I will click on save. So now let's come in here and we will reload our page. And we should see now here Voomly Light has our little asterisk next to it. That was the first one we worked on and then we have plus. And so now our plus has an asterisk as it does up here. And then the annual and the monthly both have that. And so that's where we affected those items right there. Now, so we had so far, we had to set up our name of our product. Basically, we set up our pricing for all of the different products that somebody could possibly buy. And now we come down here and we have to put in our options because the options are what will populate this list right here. So here are our different options. Again, obviously exactly the same on my version of it right there. Those are our options. So we come in here. Where are we? Wrong page. There we go. Come into our options and let me just click on edit. So in your option right here, we call this plan level because that's what ClickFunnels had called it right here. Plan level. And then we put in the light, the basic plus, etc. And we clicked done at the end. Of course, you can take, uh, you can kill them all. You can rearrange them. You can completely delete it. You can do all that. You can add an additional option. Haven't gone that far. I haven't done more than just this one and uh, getting this all set up. Now, then you get that part done. You got your options done. Now we have to edit our variance. So we're going to edit the variance. It, it populates this on its own. So once you put in these options up here, it'll populate these variants for you. And so then we're going to edit the variance. And so then you can click on each one of these and you can click on use the default description because this default description is what is going to show up right here. That's what is right there. So let me go to the light one. So this is what it is right here. That is the little tiny text right there is what would go in this box right there. And then you just swap out here. You can go to basic and then let me... Let me discard that. I didn't make any changes. And let's go back here. Didn't mean to pop out of there. So we go to edit the variance. So you should be able to change what you have here by clicking on this. Well, is it changing or not? Yeah, it, okay, I guess it did. Or not. Just not wanting to change by doing that. But if we come over here, well, I guess it wants me to save it each time. Okay, so we click on basic. Let me see, can I go back there? Okay. All right, and then as I click on each of these, you should be able to move through them from this too, I think, but um, not, not totally positive because uh, I'm just doing this really for the first time. And then down here, it shows you um, all of the products, the pricing that you put in, I should say, um, on the first page. And then you can add some more overrides to the pricing here which I'm not really sure why you would do that after you had just set it up on the other, but I'm sure there's some reason why they had uh, some sort of cases where somebody might want to do that. We can override the inherited image. So I guess what I could do there is let's test this. So we go to basic and we go override the inherited image. Let's see if then for basic we will get a different image in there. And let's put in a picture of some kitty cats here, just a single kitty cat. And let us save that page. So then again, where this description goes is right there. And of course, right here. So let's reload our page. And let's see what happens when we go to basic. 
to see if we get to the picture of the cat, and we do. So that would make sense that we can then, every time somebody clicks on one of these, changes it out. <coughs> Excuse me, changes it out. The image changes out as well. And I would guess you can do that for each price level then as well, I would think. Maybe not. Um, let me see here. We got our Voomly and our annual. So what happens if I click on this? Nothing. Let's add an override price. So we can add, change the price name here, but we can't change the image. So you can change the image per basically every product, but not every variation on the payment for that product. Tax settings, etc., can be changed down here. And then I think that's it. So you have really, you got the name of your product. You got to set up all the prices for the different levels. Then you set up your options. And then in your options, you can set up um, the, the description and the image for each one of the, uh, the options that you have. And it might load up here eventually. And so we can change that out there. So I think that's really it. Okay, no, that's not quite it yet. Let me see. Now the next thing here is on the, um, on the order form page. Uh, what I did here is I'm just using a, let's go into it here, just using the regular checkout, not the two-step. I'm sure the two-step would work fine. And I just said number of steps as one, just so I could see it more easily. And I took out a lot of the stuff on here, the shipping, where it shows my name and my email address because I didn't want all that showing on the page. But mostly I just scaled this down to make the page smaller so it's easier to see. But then the final step that you have to do that I almost forgot about is this step right here. You got to come into the page where you got the order form. You got to come down to your product, you got to manage your product, and then you got to go out and add your products and find the one that you want. It was this one right here. I won't add it again. Then you click on your gear. And again here, you can do a title override and a description override. Don't do that. You already got it set in the other side. And then we want to go availability and prices. Now this is the really important part because we have our, our five different options here. And inside of each one of these options, we, of course, have all of our different pricing. So for the light option, we're going to say we want that to be free. For the basic, we want that to be our $9 basic plan right there. For our plus, then we have the two options right there, two variants, I guess um, it would be. And so that's what gives us that additional drop down when we click on that one same thing with cloud and also same thing with pro we have the two additional options there make sure you click on update the included product otherwise it will not work when you're done and then when we are done and we've gone through all those steps and um, you know after three or four more times of doing this I'll get I'll get pretty good at this and pretty fast uh, but uh, this is the first time I did it and I basically started looking at this probably two hours ago and I reverse engineered it and got it figured out so hopefully this video will help you get there a little bit quicker when you can see where things match up and so then again as we come along we got here our Voomly plus monthly $19 per month Again, that's reflected down here. The plus is reflected there. Voomly is there. And then if we change this out to 190, we get our $190 plan. If we change this out to cloud, this changes out to cloud there as well. So there it is. Um, I just wanted to give everybody a look at that, hopefully help you out so you can struggle through or struggle less, hopefully uh, putting together your order forms. So if you got any questions, just let me know.